something fishy going around the world, especially here in Chicago, and I'm finna get down to the bottom of it. Now, I've been seeing a whole lot of videos going around talking about Venezuelans is taking over Chicago. They taking over this building that's on 60 Parks and King Drive. So I'm gonna walk over there real quick and see what's the works. I think it's kept. And I think that they're trying to start a war between our people and their people. I don't wanna say the, the racist because I don't want this video to get taken down. Shout out to Sun though. But I haven't seen actual video proof of nobody on that block. Don't get me wrong. I did see that shit that happened in Aurora, Colorado. That was one incident where some people had some and they uh, took over, I won't say they took over the whole apartment complex, but apparently they, you know, they robbed somebody, they did what they did. But I don't believe that's happened all around the country. And the really? reason why I say that, because it's, it's a whole lot of Chicago police reports saying that, oh, 32 people. First of all, how y'all know it was exactly 32 people in the building? Exactly 32? It, it seemed like some conspiracy type shit, G. And I, I feel like it's the gift, because at the end of the day, bro, I, I'm over here at Oak Block right now, I'm going to show y'all. It ain't no way the Oblockians or the 6030s is just gonna let that shit slide, bro. So, um, my theory is that they wanna bring martial law or they wanna be able to police these neighborhoods. And the only way that they'll be able to enforce that is if the people sit there and vote and be like, oh, it's too violent out here, it's war, it's this, it's this, it's that. And they create an illusion that is that is war. And that's why I said, like, they, they trying to manipulate people by being all in their emotions, bro. If they can manipulate you by their, your emotions, especially by being black, then they can get you to do anything. That's how all these politicians be doing. Now, y'all not from Chicago. Y'all don't know how 63rd look. Look at all these people on the block. Look at all these melanated people on the block. How you doing, miss? Doing pretty good. You mean to tell me? Them niggas came over here. Straps. A Is that in the third? Taurus. G. No, that shit ain't happening, bro. That shit made you count. Hey, y'all live over here. I'm actually doing a little fake small interview uh, about the building on 61st. Y'all ain't seen nothing that shit, did y'all? I'm not recording y'all. Okay, cool. But, but y'all, nobody saw nothing besides the police reports, right? No, I don't know. You don't know nothing know. about nothing? No, I just got I just said, man, I just work here. Okay, yeah, so pre apparently yesterday, uh, 32 Venezuelans took over the building on 61st Street, and I just don't believe that's possible. The way they took over an apartment complex. You, you really think they did? With all the people out here, you think that happened? Okay, well, I say thank you for your feedback. Thank you. See, I'm just asking people who actually live on the block or two, and they think it happened. So, we finna see if I'm wrong, we finna see if I'm right, we finna see on the chill and the smoking. <laughs> but hey, I gotta be in the field to really know this shit, so let's see. I don't know, man, this motherfuckers out here, shit. And if they can get people to go to war, I'll vote for some shit that didn't happen, like they do every other war, like they do every other situation. They can manipulate y'all, then guess what? They can make y'all vote. They can make y'all just have people come here and ask police walking around. We got curfews and shit. I'm trying to tell y'all. Okay, y'all. I think I think it's this building right here. I think that's the building. I'm finna interview some people over here and, um, and see what the fuck happened. Get they part of the story type shit. So yeah, yeah, I'm over here talking to a couple of the people that's over here on 61st. They definitely verified that that shit did not happen. It's uh, yeah. It's just media trying to start a war between Villasuelas and blacks. That's all. But these Villasuelas, they trying to survive just they, like we are. The same, that's same all, shit, bro. I, I agree, man. And I appreciate what y'all doing out here for real. For sure, man. for sure. Like, Thanks, bro. So it was, but it wasn't a whole apartment complex. Imagine three people robbing one person. That's all that happened. So now what I think is happening is that the media is using this as an opportunity to manipulate people. One real thing happened. So now people in Dallas are saying it's happening to an apartment complex in Dallas. I live in DFW too. But it's all reports. It's all reports. Like it was, it was five Chicago. I think it was like 15 different reports from Chicago police officers saying. Uh, 32 Venezuelans in the building on 64 King Drive, but there's no reports of actual people or no witnesses actually seeing this shit. I'm like, there ain't no way none of y'all niggas let this shit happen on this block. What they was talking about, bro, say that it was a big ass party. It was a party, here. man. They threw a party. They had a party. And it wasn't just, oh, it was mostly Venezuela, but if the guys was in there too, because they fuck with the guys. Right. You know what I'm saying? Smoking motherfuckers. Because yeah. they be buying the squares off of yeah. us. Yeah. Hold on, go. And they, and yeah. know, it wasn't even like that, though. It's so, but, yeah. but it was, though. Somebody reported, see how the village They got. I they, believe it. They just like they, 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 why wouldn't they? You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> they, they, they put that on social media and they just took it and blew it up. Because now they're trying to get people, they're trying to get us to fight them. And uh, and, it's, yeah. and I, I, I'm trying to get... <laughs> like, like yesterday, like uh, I see the video about the old block shit. 
they were not even nowhere in O Block. They was by yeah. Vaughn Mirror. Then they were talking like, oh man, if Villa Sweat take it over, they got the background yeah the video they the added that's what i'm saying and i don't i don't, and I'm then, to... and I don't even think i don't even think dude was villain's weather because he yeah it's, he spoke english he, too he, good he's, he's on, he and he didn't Puerto have an accent something. yeah you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. it's like they it's try to agenda. push they try to push this narrative and try to get us to fight with each other exactly you know what I'm saying? and that's exactly what i'm trying to catch that's why i'm out here I appreciate that's, you. What, that's why i'm out here talking to the to the brothers out here like man that don't fall for that narrative that that, that narrative falls though you know what i'm saying I appreciate you, man. For real, for real, for real. You be fine. They taking over the... I know, bro. They ain't even like that. Why? Why? I said, bro, don't listen to that shit. That's the media trying to push this narrative. I had to come down here myself. I had to show people, like, no, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. We got a, 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 a text to our, our, our job group. Uh, yeah. I mean, yep. From the big, big, big boss. The big boss. Like, what's going on <laughs> down there? Damn. He, you know what I'm saying? He thinking it's like... He it's, it's, and that's, that's what I'm saying. So you got people who... who, 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 who you got people looking at this on social media, TikTok. You got kids that's, you know, all like... the. And they, they just think it's rah rah. They, they, they don't understand like yeah, how no. this shit go. And they, they take the yeah. in that shit and they, they, they run with it. Now everybody. They, they push this, they trying to push this down. They definitely them, is, bro. And, it's, it's, and I'm glad y'all shutting that shit though. down. Yeah, it's extremely it's dangerous, bro. It's yeah. extremely dangerous. Because now you can start, you can see one what person walking fast. And you know what I'm saying? And then you go motherfucking. Or whatever, because you know what they this race, so they, just, yeah. yeah, and then the martial law go come, and now we got curfews, this is, it's bullshit, so. Yeah, they're trying to push that shit. I'm that glad y'all really like stand that, up, and what's up, bro? Yeah. Rico. That confirms it, y'all. The media is a fucking lie. Here's the building right here. That shit did not happen, bro. That shit did not happen. It is major cap. Y'all heard it from the people, from, y'all heard it from the motherfucking people themselves, y'all. That's just more proof for y'all to stop trusting the fucking media, stop trusting everything you see on the news. And now that people don't even watch the news, social media is the new news. It's all this shit is captured. Trust yourself, trust your intuition. I wasn't even finna walk over here. I was just finna take them off of the net, bro. And right before I went to bed, I was like, no. Check, verify that shit, bro. That shit ain't happening. They pushing this story all around the fucking world. They gonna make people start offing each other, bro. And I don't, I don't fuck with that shit. Y'all stay, stay sane.